Prophet Lebron has led me to, I should say the spirit through Prophet Lebron has taught me that it's about ingesting a body of knowledge. It's about a body of knowledge. A body of knowledge describes your reality. A body of knowledge constructs you and a body of knowledge creates you. It's about ingesting a body of knowledge. I am thinking about the body of knowledge that a police officer ingests. A rookie police officer comes in with one body of knowledge, perhaps to serve, perhaps to uphold the law, perhaps to serve. Then he goes out into the world of police officers and he begins to ingest a different body of knowledge. And uh, begins to believe different truths. And uh, contemplate different realities. He begins to make different conclusions. He believes to uh, make uh, new beliefs, develop new beliefs, new knowledge new faith, new purpose, new hope. And in uh, a matter of time, he is a different person. He's a different person. And so it is about ingesting a body of knowledge, the right body of knowledge. Some time ago, I came to the conclusion that the Word of God teaches you a body of knowledge. The Word of God teaches you. A way of looking at things, a way of thinking about things, a way of understanding things, a way of understanding you, me, who you are, who I am, teaches a way of understanding me and understanding God and understanding reality. It's a body of knowledge. And then uh, this truth that we are creatures who become tanned by the sun. We become changed by what we perceive, by what we observe, by what we are exposed to. We are changed by it. Ultimately, we are transformed by it. And so if we observe, contemplate, study, gaze upon the body of knowledge, the body of truth, the body of teaching, the body of understanding that is the Word of God. We gaze upon it through study, through thinking about it, through meditation upon it, 
through hearing preachers te uh, preach, teachers teach, good ones, ones that God leads you to. Gazing upon that body of knowledge, being exposed to it, begins to change your perception. Begins to recreate you from the inside out. Begins to transform you from the inside out. Begins to change your ideas, and beliefs, and hopes, and dreams, and faith. Begins to transform you in no small way. Be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. A renewal of your mind is the transformation through absorption of a new body of knowledge. Father, help me to stay in a place where I am exposed to the light of your word, to the power of your word that I may become transformed to its likeness. That I may begin to radiate its truth its potency, its efficacy, its productive power, its healing power, its hope-giving power. Amen.